good afternoon and welcome along to you from the hive uh, we've got open abigail hive and as you see there's a frantic lot of activity in particular if you come round to the side of the uh, front of the hive this is a camera person you can actually see a lot of bees on the side here uh, we're wondering exactly what this quite means but uh, equally as well we're looking into one of the supers here and uh, having a look at this or we'll give this a bit of a puff Yes, it's really doing this to make it a bit more possible for me to lift this one up with hopefully uh, damaging any of the bees or because that's the last thing we want to do. These ladies are workers and they work very hard and make great more for them. Wow, that is very, very, wow. very... Whoa, that's just as dripping. Yes. It is dripping with yeah, honey. Yeah, I've pulled it over there because it's dripping out. <laughs> well, as you can... Okay, well, we're just taking the queen excluder off. And that's the uh, super that we've just taken off. And a huge amount of activity here. Lay this one down as gently as possible. A huge amount of bees in the Abigail hive. We've got a very, very productive queen here. Um, and uh, what we really want to do is uh, there's a bee on that uh, super there that they're actually licking up some of the honey that's come off from the uh, super uh, frame uh, very productive queen in here uh, but we do want to check on bee health so mm -hmm. i'm going to go and don't want to disturb the I'm trying to avoid the set in the queen. So we'll just give it a bit of a puff at the end here. And what the smoker does is it does imitate a forest, the effect of a forest fire. And when the uh, bees sense this, uh, they think that there's a forest fire and they go off and eat plenty of honey. Now looking at this, we have a lot of brood in there and I think we can see a big drone walking about there yeah. uh, are those not queen souls on the top there but where about one here hmm I think they might be no, they don't look long enough for that one. I think that's all the oh, there's drone. plenty plenty of uh, actual Plenty of fairly healthy brood in there. Some, nice pollen Some very there. lovely pollen. And uh, there's certainly drone, uh, drone brood here. So, what we do is we're going to put this one back. Oh, hang on. Before you do, I think there's a queen, queen cell there. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. So, we'll go and take that and have a little look at that one. I'll put this one back. This is very heavy, actually. Try to avoid causing any damage. Yeah, that's that. That does look. Good, is it? Yes. Well, we'll perhaps get some advice on this one because. And. What if that's the only one? If there's more. But I uh, definitely, I think. Uh, a little bit of extra work to be done here. Mm. Uh, this is a queen cell that... Uh, mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, again, healthy brood mm -hmm. here. Very healthy brood on both sides. Uh, one big drone walking across there. Uh, lots of pollen stores. Uh, so far, uh, all... But it's almost definitely a queen cell on this. Yeah. Uh, so we do need to uh, address that. I'll get uh, some advice from our fellow beekeepers. 
there before we deal with this one, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to give this a puff before I put it back in, which will hopefully assist us. So now we're into looking at this one. This is uh, this is a little bit tough because it has been glued down, I think, with propolis, which is a bee glue. Uh, yes. So with care, we'll be all right. And my gloves are getting rather tangled up with uh, lots of propolis. Okay, let's see what we can see. And again, lots of ladies wandering about. Oh, some queen cells here. Yes. Now, many of those. One's come out, uh, and one's yeah. still to come out. This, this um, activity that we saw before we opened it. So I just wonder if uh, some of them might be um, preparing to swarm, and then if there's any queens coming out and there might be fights between there might be as well, aren't there? Hmm. Yeah. So but it one, is it just one that's open one that's open that's one that's one. still to come yeah. on that one i think we'll we'll go and uh yeah, the, the two in the, in the middle there the, the others yes drone, they? Uh, they look as if they're more drone cells but uh but yeah i'll see the one on the right Oh, look, look, we've got a big. I wonder if there's a queen in there. Big cluster hanging off the bottom there. Right? We'll have to be careful putting that back in. Right? Yes, we will. Yeah. Right, shall I stop this for now? Yes. Uh, it's been a very interesting from the hive for us today. Uh, this is Abigail Hive and as you can see a tremendous number of bees outside the hive. What on earth has been going on? Well, we've got on a new brood box. It was quite evident to us that the bees might be or might even have swarmed, but uh, we think they're still about to swarm. Inside we saw a number of queen cells which you saw just a little while earlier. and. Uh, at the suggestion of Olga and Lindsay, some of these queen cells have been uh, uh, eradicated uh, and just leaving one queen cell in. Uh, well, we hope it's going to be the best one anyway. Uh, so what's actually happened is that these, uh, the boxes have been swapped around. This is the original box here, which has the brood and the queen cell in. Underneath, we shook all the bees out underneath and just put in uh, some more empty cells, just cells worth of uh, uh, stores and the idea is the bees will go in the bottom and work their way through up. The queen, if she's in there, will be in the bottom, uh, the, the bottom section and hopefully she'll be able to uh, do what she does in the bottom. And there's a the queen excluder at the moment, is it? There's a queen excluder, so she can't, get, going she can't get through. Um, the queen cell in the middle is just a queen cell for the moment, but uh, will be coming out in the next few days. And in the next day, what we're going to be doing with this hive is to actually take the queen excluder out and replace that with a separate, uh, even perhaps even the, one of these supers here. We can put one of those in and a, a queen excluder and then a crown board and then yeah. comes another hive uh, so effectively the, 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 there will be two hives one on top of each other uh, but however one will be facing a different direction and will create a space so that the bees can uh, can enter and exit the hive accordingly we will have to check very soon as to actually what is going on here at the moment we are looking at the clouds and thinking well it's quite possible <coughs> he said uh, checking to make sure there are no bees on the oh dear, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, i think i thought there's somebody inside here 
which is not a good thing. Yeah, so they're quite calm. Bees are quite calm. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't like to uh, think that she will remain too calm. But anyway, uh, we're going to. Uh, and in here, uh, we're going to be checking these bees again, hopefully tomorrow, and see how they're doing. So, and, and we will actually maybe do something similar here if need be. So it's all happening here down on the hive. Uh, it's something we've never experienced before, but beekeeping is uh, something we're going to be learning about all the time. You have a look here, there's bees coming in and out with lots and lots of pollen. And we'll leave you with this very yellow pollen. We'll leave you with this very, very busy congregation of bees uh, doing all sorts of things. I will take my suit off as quickly as possible without getting stung, I hope. And, uh, so we'll be back from the hive again very soon.